Hello everybody, my name is Adamos and this is the first video section of IFC Markets. I'm going to make an introduction on how to use MetaTrader 4 platform. You can see what is tradable at ifcmarkets.com website. So we go here and we input ifcmarkets.com. Okay, very well. And then for MT4, you need to go to MetaTrader 4 download button. Press here. Choose your operating system and press on download. Follow the instructions and download the MetaTrader 4 platform. As soon as you open the MT4, you will see this screen for creating an account. You can easily create a demo account by simply inputting your personal information. I recommend you to start with a demo so you will get familiar with the trading platform before you move to real funds trading. In case you do not know how to create an account, then just go to file and open an account button. So fill your name, country, city, address, account type, forex, choose leverage, 1 to 400 leverage is okay, deposit 100,000 is okay, and follow the instructions to create an account. Personally, I have only, I have already created, okay. And this is the default profile automatically created by the MT4 trading platform, okay. And let's now go now to create a new one. So I will delete uh, all the windows and I will open new ones. First of all, click on the market watch window here and you will see actually you will see three columns first, bid, ask and symbol. Okay. And you can select here right click and go to show all so you can see all the, the forex instruments and stocks as well offered by IFC markets okay so let's go now and see the GBP USD for example here you can see the bid ask prices okay so the bid price which is now at 168.25 it means that one british pound equals to 168.25 us dollars in other words the base currency is the british pound and the code currency is the us dollar and here one british pound is quoted for 168.25 us dollars and the same applies for the rest of the forex pairs and let's now explain the bid ask prices prices bid price this one this column actually is the best price at which a security or instrument can be sold at a given point in time by any client on the other side of trading the side of the broker bid price is the maximum price at which a broker is willing to buy from a client and now the ask price, which is this column here, okay, is the best price at which a security or instrument can be bought at a given point in time by the client, or the minimum price the broker is willing to sell at a given point in time to his client. We ask spread the cost of trading for the trader. Let's return back to our market watch window now, okay and uh, you can go here and add columns by right click and select high low or even time and you can see also the high and the low columns of the trading day this is daily high lows and the time also at the market watch window we can open charts by let's first delete the high low 
and the time so we can make it smaller and we right click for example on the GBP USD chart window and the chart of the GBP USD will appear on your screen by default the chart has black uh, background grid lines and it's a bar chart and it's zoomed out so we must adjust it as we like first of all right click and remove grid lines that was easy let's now zoom in we go to the charts toolbar and press on the plus button zoom in okay and then you press on the candle so you have candlesticks and right click go to properties and you will see the properties window at this window you can change any color you like personally i go to the color scheme and i select black and white because this is my preference and then press ok and we can go and prepare other charts with the same procedure i'm going to generate a mixture of major forex pairs that i like to follow every day so i will open the Euro USD chart window the same way properties black on white pressing ok then candle zoom in and remove grid then i'm going to open the USD again remove grid zoom in candle right click properties black on white Okay, and then I'm going to create also the Australian dollar versus the US dollar chart. Okay, candlestick, grid, properties, level Y, pressing OK, and zooming in. So now, to see all the charts, I go to the window and press tile windows. Okay. You can create charts uh, in different ways, so you can go, go to the plus button here and select uh, where, whichever kind of pair you like. If uh, you delete the chart by mistake, let's say you delete this by mistake, you can go to file, open deleted and you select the GBP USD and you can have it in front of you. And with this, I'm going to save this profile. So I'm going at the bottom of the MetaTrader 4, selecting this, save profile. Let's name it example one and press OK. Now we have saved the profile. Now let's see some other features, OK, at the chart window. I can manage the time frame with the periodicity toolbar. Okay, then let's select GBP USD. Periodicity toolbar is this one. So you can choose either four hour chart or daily or weekly or even monthly. Then you can also set lines when the light on the line studies toolbar. Okay, so select a trend line. Or you can even put support and resistances on the chart. You can also select different way to, to see time and price at the same time. Okay. And I think it's time to see some more practical matters relating to trading. And uh, the ultimate goal of everyone is uh, how to trade. So let's go and trade. Please know that this is only for informational and educational purposes and does not constitute any recommendation or investment advice. Okay, after this uh, warning, let's trade. Let's go now at USDN. Okay, so I have maximized it and I want to buy at current market price. And I'll go to the standard toolbar. So the toolbar is this one. 
okay so if the standard toolbar is doesn't appear on your chart yeah you have to just go to view toolbars and select standard okay anyway so now we go to new order and we have the order window in front of us and uh, here we select the symbol okay we have already selected the usd yen the volume is one lot which means 100,000 of the base currency in this case the base currency is the us dollar therefore one lot equals to 100,000 us dollars i can set my stop loss or take profit to be automatically uh, placed when the order will be executed we leave it empty at the moment and we come to the printer and at the type we select instant execution and we press buy okay so now we have traded long position 100,000 USDs against the yen you can see that if you go to the terminal okay so click here if you don't see it and you have a buy position one load USD yen at 102.07 and to place a stop loss and take profit right click and select modify or delete order there you can input the stop loss and take profit order in our case we are long USD yen so the stop loss has to be below market price so I'm going to place it let's say for example at 101 and take profit has to be above so I will place it at 102.50 and I press modify okay so you can see here the TP and the SL which are for stop loss and take profit and that's it let's go now and trade the euro USD maximize the euro USD window right click on it so I'm going to show you a different way to trade right click on it and select trading new order so now again the order window will appear in front of you let's uh, choose 0 0.50 lot so now we are going to trade 50,000 of the base currency which is the euro in this case and uh, with this trading let's say I prefer to place my stop loss and take profit as of opening the position so I'm going to place a stop loss I will place my stop loss below the market price so I'm going to place that one 30 490 and take profit I will place it at 136 and I will press buy so as you can see here we have two buy positions one on USD yen and one on euro USD with stop loss and take profit orders okay we have seen now how trading at current market prices work now let's see some different kind of orders as well uh, there are buy limits uh, sell limit buy stop sell stop orders which are all called pending orders okay let's go to the GBP USD now and for a buy stop let's say for example you want to place an order to buy at 1.70 that must be a buy stop order it is called buy stop because you will buy as long as the market price reaches your preferred level at that level the buy stop will become a market order and will be filled to input the stop order right click on price chart then trading new order or you can even go to the new order directly in the standard toolbar okay and now we change the type to pending order and we select buy stop so now we have to input the price 1.70 for example 
we leave the volume at 0.5 which is 50,000 and we press place okay successful so now we see here our buy stop order GBP USD at 1.70 but the current price is now at 160.825 there is one disadvantage about the stop order and this, this is the, that the order is not guaranteed to be filled at the preferred price the investor input. Once the stop order has been triggered, it turns into a market order which is filled at the best possible price. This price may be higher than the price specified by the supply stop order. Now let's go and see the buy limit okay so we go to the new order again okay and in this case uh, let's say that we want to buy if the price go as low as 165 we select other type pending order we go to buy limit and we put 1.66 we leave it the volume at 0.5 and we press place So we go to the terminal and we see now that we have a buy limit at buy at 0.50 GBP USD at 1.66. So this uh, order will be uh, triggered as as long as the price goes to 1.66. Let's see now how we can input a sell limit order. The same goes like before, uh, we go to new order, but now we are going to sell at a higher price than the market. So our price now is 168.25, we select pending order, go to sell limit and we put 1.6880 for example. Okay. So we are going to sell uh, when the price goes to 168.80, we leave the volume at 0.5 and we place the order and we can see here that we have a sell limit at 1.6880. Again the last is the sell stop order and is when you want to sell at lower price than current market price. Usually that is the case when you consider going short after the break of a specific support. Stop orders, as we said previously, are not guaranteed. Again, go to new order, then change type to pending order, type sell stop, and input the price, which is going to be below the current market price, let's say at 166, and press Okay. As we can see at the terminal, we now have also one sell stop order at 1.66, size 0.5. And that's it uh, for today. Thank you very much for watching. Good day to all of you out there and hope you expand your profits. Bye.